Hello everyone and welcome back to another Schnucka Two video. Hello everyone. Stop. I know we haven't made one of these. I haven't made one of these in a long time, but here, here I am back at it again. Today we have a very special guest, Richard. Uh, Aka our Wayne Banana. Yeah, our Wayne Banana. Uh, and today we will be talking about the complexities of life and Minecraft as a metaphor. Exactly. All right, so uh, would you like to introduce yourself, Rich? Yeah, hey everyone, uh, my name is one Rich. One second, one second, uh, pause, 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 pause. Like All a right, dolphin. Sorry, sorry guys, sorry guys, we're, we're back. Uh, my roommate just got angry at me for being slightly too loud, so now I've quieted down, and now we're going to continue I don't have recording. any roommates, so I, I can be very loud. I don't have any roommates, so. Oh, okay, that's great, that's great. Anyways, uh, yeah. so would, would you like to introduce yourself, Rich? Sorry. We, we yeah, kinda... so basically, yeah, yeah, my name's Rich. I sing T2. Sometimes I'll... Yeah, no, nah, I, I just mainly sing T2. Um, uh, would you would you else? like to... Ex what, what does singing T2 necessarily mean, Rich? Singing T2 means I sing tenor 2. Basically, tenor 2 is uh, a sub-part of the tenor sections. Um, I said, think of it like you're writing... Uh, white paper, right? Exactly. What, what's what's a white paper? Well, how does how does a white paper differ from a brown paper or a yellow paper? <laughs> let, let me first explain why it relates to white paper, and then I'll differentiate the white paper from other types of papers. Okay? okay. Okay. So first, you know, let me explain why it's a white paper. Okay. Exhibit A. When in your white paper you have a problem section, right? Exactly, a problem you want to solve, some societal mm. problem that has and a some solution se section. Solution, exactly, exactly. And that's your main heading, like problem section. You know, whatever you'll name your problem section, it could be like navigating the obstacles of the music industry, Makes right? Sense. Makes sense. Um, and then exactly. within that, you'll have uh, subheadings, right? And that's kind of what like the tenor to it is to the tenor section so subheadings act as almost like um kind of like a way to break down what's already broken down you know I mean exactly it's like taking taking an atom and splitting it apart yes nuclear was, fission yeah nuclear fission kind of like um what's that movie what's oppenheimer, that movie oppenheimer 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 yeah exactly so you're basically saying T2 sections are like the Oppenheimer of acapella groups, right? They're... I would have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only are they in charge of being the subheading of this, the heading splitting... Wait, let me pose this to you. Let me, let me, let me interrupt you. Sorry, let me interrupt you. No, second. okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> please, please, please Can stay I, here. Have you ever heard of, like, Soprano 2, Soprano 1? No, I haven't. I have not. Why is it? Why is it that T twos get their own, you know, cool little, you know, sub thing, right? Uh, I I would argue that it's not very cool. It's rather like more of a uh, identifying tool in order to separate out them from the rest of the acapella group. I I disagree because the tenor twos have this unique voice that's. Yes, that's it's, unneeded. It's genetics. See, it's look, gen it really is just genetics. You mean it's excuse unmatched. me? Excuse me. I'm talking here. Please, please be may, quiet. May I interject? Thank you. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I'm talking here. Please be respectful. Okay. Look. Okay. You you uh, hypothesized that the T twos are like the subheading to to to, to a white paper, right? Well, like I would the like Oppenheimer. Yes, like the well, Oppenheimer uh, well, to the well, movie theater. Yeah, exactly. It, well, if we subscribe to that notion, I would like to entertain the argument that perhaps, just like some subheadings and some uh, uh, subheadings of a white paper are unnecessary, perhaps the T twos are unnecessary to an acapella group. Why have a T two when you already have T one? Just make it T. Well, let me just say this. I think you're mitigating the effects of the tenor two section. To the point where their their voices become ephemeral. You mean? Ephemeral? So, <laughs> what? I, I mean, I think you're essentially voiding the purpose of tenor twos to the a cappella group, and you're not, you know, giving the light of day that 
that the tenor twos deserve. Excuse me? Um, yeah. I, I don't think you're recognizing the complexities of the situation, right? This is this is a clearly a straw man fallacy, right? It, by singling out T2s and comparing them to this one workable analogy of, of a whoa, white whoa, whoa, paper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful, be careful. That's a slippery slope fallacy. That's slippery slope fallacy right there. Uh, can you explain how so? Um, I cannot. <laughs> like, you, you... <laughs> Unfortun <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot. But that's okay. You I mean, I learned that in my 11th grade uh, American literature class. You know what I mean? When we were studying The Great Gatsby. You know what I mean? I, I do not know what you mean, sir. You know, you you remember the Great Gatsby, right? I I I have. I'm very familiar with the beautiful, beautiful text of the Great Gatsby. Yeah, the Great Gatsby by... has a lot of like metaphors and analogies, and you know, yes, of course, alliterations of course. that you know fall into logical fallacies. You know what I mean? Of course. And um, like you of know, course. you know what ad hominems are, right? Of course. I, I'm a very well-read student in the field of American literature and English. Please do not doubt my abilities. This is ad hominem. Currently... Excuse me. Excuse me. You're, you're currently using ad hominem right now. You're attacking my character and my English abilities in order to build upon your own argument when we're only simply arguing about the idea of the utility of the t2 section within acapella groups so please get it very clear okay we're not arguing about my capabilities as a human being and processing english we're simply arguing about the complexity surrounding the t2 and t1s within acapella groups wait okay? that that's a hasty generalization whoa there whoa there i'm just saying i'm just saying and speaking of marginal utility <laughs> um <laughs> Like, I think you're kind of like forgetting marginal benefit, you mean? People are always, you know, saying marginal utility that, marginal utility this. What about marginal benefit, you mean? I, I think this is a, uh, I forgot the name of the fallacy. This is this is a, a bystander effect fallacy, you know? Um, like Red sometimes. Herring? Is that what you're trying to say? Red herring? Uh, yeah, it, perhaps, perhaps. Because like, the concept of marginal benefit and marginal utility are very similar. So by in order by using like jargon and confusing terminology to confuse me, you're like avoiding the argument in itself and trying to win this by a virtue of using unfamiliar terms. Mm. That's a false dilemma. A that false. is a false dilemma. How so? Please 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 elaborate, sir. <laughs> Cannot elaborate on that one. Uh, it's some things are meant not to be elaborated on. Oh, yeah. this is uh, okay. That is something I, I was I, taught. I, I was taught that in um, ninth grade intro to foreign literature. Oh yes, I loved that class. Intro to foreign literature. We explored the literatures of of many great countries like France and like foreign Florida. Florida? Excuse me? F Florida is not a foreign country. Hello? Yeah, foreign countries, yeah. Then why did you say Florida? I like foreign countries. Ever Florida? been to one? I've been Ever to Florida. Been to a foreign country? I've been to Florida. <laughs> I'm talking foreign countries. Ever been to a foreign country? Oh. Uh. I like France. <laughs> kind, of, kind of like baguettes, right? What? I love France. France ha has very nice uh, bread. Mm. I they like call... bread. Oh, muffins are good too. <laughs> <laughs> I like scallion pancakes. That's just mine. That's just oh, my personal. Yes. Like, are scallion pancakes toyong being in Chinese? Yeah. Yes. That that would be correct. Good job for being cultured and worldly. Nice. The, you know why foreign uh foreign literature class ninth grade? Yes. Yes. Did you? Uh, yes. Of course. Scallion pancakes. Um. 
Oh, did have you read the essay by Tsung Ming Ho about the effect of scallion pancakes in American stock markets from 1990 to 1922? I have, I have. It's quite profound, you know. I know. I like, think who, I think it really affected the uh, railroad industry. Um, exactly. Like Rockefeller was definitely not happy with that. It, he was um, not. He really was not. I mean, yeah, like, that. One could I, mean, argue, I think that. Wait, no, like, can you let me finish my sentence before oh, so, you speak? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Like, Thank you. Uh, Are you gonna let me, yeah, it's my turn to speak. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, go, go ahead. Um, go ahead, please, please. I think that's why Rockefeller please, doesn't like please, the Chinese. Please, please, That's just my Excuse hypothesis. Me? What? Because of that critical argument and how it, like, significantly affected the uh, railroad industry. Are, yep. What? What? Uh, can we please that's keep just, po- politics out of this? That's my hypothesis. Like, I, I understand. One might argue that's my proposition. Okay, I, I can understand. And I would even extend that argument to say that that's a justificatory uh, proposition. <laughs> well, I, I understand. Pol- politics plays an important role in our society today, right? But Or would that uh, be an explanatory proposition? Excuse me? What? Justificatory proposition or explanatory proposition? Uh, what? What would it be? Explanatory or justificatory? I I don't I don't know. You tell me. So, anyways, um, <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, the uselessness of T two section within acapella groups, right? It's a burden to. Arrangers around the world trying to make a part for them because they're unnecessary and cause unnecessary burdens. Mm. I have this quote that went in as my senior quote, and it goes like this: "To each their own." You mean oh. implying that each person has their own way of conducting their lives, their own way of uh, of opinion and free will. Yes, I, I, I agree that to that to extent, you know, I'm qualifying my argument with I agree with that, right? Each person has their own right to be happy, to, to find the right way to live their own lives. However, in the painful truth we live today, right, each person provides a marginal benefit and marginal cost to the society. Mm. So if and, if, it, and if we if we are to maximize, you're saying if we are to maximize. Yes, if we are to we maximize, would have to find, that, we would find marginal we, benefit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We must pick out the people that have the most marginal utility in our society and try and replicate as many of them as possible, right? It, it, it is not like just like the T2 section. Just because wait, wait, the wait, T2 but, sections are so. You know excuse me, wait, sir, 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 ex- sir, sir, sir. Excuse me. Please let me finish. Sir, I'm not. Please, do, you, do you know what the law of please let me marginal finish. returns is? Please let me finish. Do you know what the law of marginal please let me finish. returns is? Sir, sir. Sir, so as I was saying, just like the teacher said, the law said, of marginal <laughs> diminishing returns. You're the law of marginal diminishing returns. Ooh, because the more you talk, the less value it adds to the conversation. Ooh, oh, look at that ad hominem. You can't say anything back to that, can you? I'm quitting this podcast. All right, thank you very much for listening. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Hey, let's talk about cold wars. Cold Wars. Tune in next time to, for, to listen to us talk about Cold Wars. Thank you very Thank much. You. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like if you like this type follow of content. Follow us on the podcast. Yes, comment uh, down below. And follow okay. us on the Goodbye. podcast. Um, yep. Goodbye.